composition of functions. Composition is a process in which the output of one function becomes the input of another. The notation used for composition is either f composed with g evaluated at x or f of g of x. The second is the function notation equivalent of what composition represents. In the video defining a function, we discussed a machine. The composition of two functions is like two machines. An ingredient goes into the first machine, creates an item, and this item becomes an ingredient in another machine, and the second machine creates another item. If g of x is 4x minus 3x squared, and f of x is 8x minus 7, then in order to find g composed with f evaluated at negative 7, I need to find f of negative 7, find the output, then plug that into g. f of negative 7 is negative 63. We now need to find g of negative 63, which is negative 12,159. To find the domain of a composition of two functions, the domain will be where the simplified composition domain and the domain of the inside function overlap. We consider the simplified composition because this is the final construction of the function, and we consider the inside function since an ingredient not fitting into the first machine won't be able to create an item to be an ingredient for the second machine. If g of x is 2x over 3x plus 2, and f of x is 1 over x minus 4, then in order to find g composed with f evaluated at x, I need to take f of x and plug that into g. This looks rather complicated at first, and I need to find a common denominator at the bottom of the fraction, then divide by a fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal instead. g of f of x will simplify down to 2 over 2x minus 5. Now, I want the domain of this. Using the methods we've used before, it looks like I should be leaving 5 over 2 out of the domain. This is not the only number I should leave out though. Looking at my inside function f of x, 4 does not make a good ingredient here, so I'll also leave this number out of the composition's domain. Our domain is everything except 5 over 2 and 4. You have seen two examples of composition, as well as an example of finding the domain of a composition of two functions. You could also perform compositions using graphs and tables.